folks. This is a fun one that we got here. This one seems to be kind of blowing up on social media, so I thought I'd share. This gave me a good laugh for sure. Let's start off with this article here from the Western Standard. Fallen and can't get up. Finland trans figure skater falls in opening ceremony. Now, just by that headline, it seems someone innocu- somewhat innocuous or like uh, I'm making fun of this person because they are trans or perhaps the Internet is making fun of this person because they're trans. That is not the case. She is being blown up on the Internet because she doesn't know how to skate. You see, what happened is, uh, let me just read this article a bit, and then I'll, I'll, get, I'll get into what happened. Finland debuted the first transgender figure skater at the European Figure Skating Championships, but it didn't go very well. Sort of not true, but we'll get into that a little after. Figure skater and transgender female Mina Maria Antikainen, 60, skated in the opening ceremony where many female skaters hold their country's flags. Uh, and then down here, it says, where does it say? Anita is a biological male who transitioned to a female and uses male and female pronouns. Anita Kanin identifies as gender-neutral woman, whatever that means. Before becoming a figure skater, Auntie Kanainen was a farmer but had a quote, childhood dream to be a professional figure skater. Like, basically, what happens in this video, it's like, it's like she's a, like a, like she's a, like a, like a make-a-wish kid, where they just take this kid and they're like, hey, you're dying of cancer or something horrible like that. So we're going to just make, like, you know, give you this really awesome dream day that you would, probably wouldn't have gotten if you weren't dying of cancer. But they did that, but strictly because this person is trans. This person should not be anywhere near frozen water this person is completely unstable not mentally but physically unstable on frozen water let's take a look at the video here yeah <laughs> look at that form <laughs> like this is this is like insane this is <laughs> oh i feel like i'm in like some kind of weird alternate universe where my my deepest desires just are just coming true this is <laughs> why did they let this person on the ice she could have cracked her head open and bled out and had brain damage and been in a vegetative state for the rest of her life but because of diversity and inclusion we had to let this this fool onto the ice listen maybe 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 this person is mentally challenged even at that like listen if it was like a 30 year old mentally challenged person that's like i've always wanted to be on the ice that's fine i get it when you're a 60 year old mentally challenged person, you're like, it's, it stops being cute. You know, you know what I mean? You start losing sympathy for them. You know, they, they just start becoming a person like everyone. Oh, that makes me sound like a piece of crap. And so, so you know, this, this person, Anita Maria, uh, you know, her entire life, she dreamt, probably not, of being a figure skater. So instead of, I don't know, learning how to skate, that's pretty much all you really need to do to figure skate. Instead of learning how to skate, she decided, like, nah, I'm going to put zero effort towards this dream that I've had, this goal that I've wanted to achieve my whole life. I'm going to put zero effort into doing any of that, and instead I'm going to do other stuff with my life and then become a trans, and then at the age of 60, solely because I'm, you know, gender non-conforming, I will be allowed to carry out my dreams, like, this is the most Gen Z, woke, stupidity, European crap I've ever seen. Listen, I'm not, I'm not pro-war, but if, but if Russia wanted to annex Finland, I wouldn't fight it. Now, as I mentioned, in that article, it does say that uh, this person was the, this situation was her the first time they've ever had, like, a trans figure skater. Not true if you do a bit of research here. So they actually let her do something very similar at the Juna Cup in 2020. Uh, This one is particularly funny because not only can she not skate here. Okay, listen, actually, she can skate. She skates actually better than she did in 2023. I guess age may have caught up with her. So, you know, athletic career spoiled. 
Um, but on top of that, it's also pretty racist, so that's fun. She decided to go with like some kind of Asian theme performance here. <laughs> stutter step oh oh you know what this is this is like going to watch your kid or, or you know or maybe like your younger cousin or something you go and watch their their little dumb recital where you know they're seven and they suck at whatever they're doing because they're seven but you stay and you watch and then afterwards you tell them they did a good job because you want them to be positively reinforced and continue to do positive things and work towards goals in their life that's what this seems like. I feel like I'm watching somebody's child figure skate right now extremely poorly that I then after have to, or I'm being socially forced into telling them they did a good, a good job, even though it's very clear that they performed are... subpar. Now here's another one. This one I actually haven't seen yet, but this is one of her dressed as Xena the warrior princess. You know, just looking at her face right now, maybe she is mentally challenged. If this is a mentally challenged trans person, I take back the first part of this video, but let's... Okay, we don't need... All right, that's a dead meme. Let's... We don't need the... Okay, we can remove the music, sure. Okay, this is somebody else's video. Where's the Xena the Warrior stuff? I just... Okay, hold on, I did find it. What is this? Why, why are we watching this person do gymnastics or ballet poorly? Why are we, why are we rewarding mediocrity? What is happening with society? Why are we watching this overweight person? I want to watch young fit people do athletics. Why are we watching this overweight person in spandex tights barely able to stand on their own two feet? Like, why is this a thing? Finland, you suck as a country, as a whole. If anyone from Finland is watching, I'm sorry, but actually I'm not. Your country sucks. This is also from 2020. Yo, for real. This individual was better in 2020. That was the peak. That was her, that was her physical peak. Okay, yeah, screw the music. Is that it? Is there anything funny going to happen here? I mean, it's just extremely mediocre. <laughs> Listen, if this is if this is going to be the future of women's sports, uh, trans men, sixty-year-old trans men who have clearly never done it before, doing it for the first time because it's their dream and didn't want to actually put in any work or effort to get to try and achieve that goal, but instead just waited to their sixty and then went trans to perform in the sport. If that's the future of women's sports, sign me up. Honestly, if that's the case, that that seems like a, a perfect opportunity for TLC. TLC can just become the women's sports channel because that is like the weird freak show thing that they would do. That's going to be it for me. Have a good night.